Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. We're just out here having a look to see where all the ducks are. Everything is locked up. I will say, today is kind of shaped up to be a pretty good day. As most of you know, I've got a collection of vintage uh, rods and reels. Most of which I got from my father. I can say, most of which came from thrift stores. I happened to stop at a store today, not expecting anything, just looking around. Wait till you see what I found at the thrift store, all for less than $4. So I'm out driving around to see where all the ducks went and come to find out that the uh, Thames River here is locked up. Uh, it's been pretty cold the last few days and uh, I wasn't expecting it to freeze over but it did. All the ponds, all the creeks, everything here is just froze over and there is nothing flying which means all the marshland over here and off to my right, your left, uh, is also locked up. We're going to run out to Lake St. Clair, right at the mouth of the Thames, and see what's going on out there. Alright folks, we're here at the mouth of the Thames where it meets Lake St. Clair. Uh, there's a lot more ice than what I thought there was going to be. I know it was cold the past few days, but I'll have a look. As you look out over the lake here, the ice goes for about 500 meters and then the water opens up. But you mark my words, the next cold snap we get, there's going to be people out there ice fishing. We're going to ice fish this year, but I need a whole lot more ice than just a couple inches. And you guys can see out there, that ice goes for about 500 meters and it's just open water from there. All kinds of birds flying. If I had to hazard a guess, that's where the ducks and the geese are. Because everything else is locked up. On a good note, they have repaved this uh, ramp area here where people do a lot of fishing from. A lot of fishing off this dock. They've tore down the old restaurant that was on the corner here and they're building a large house large house doesn't do it any justice but we also got a new boat ramp have a look at this even Santa's hanging out at the lighthouse all right well I guess that's your ice report for Lake St. Clair we got ice don't have any idea how much but we got ice I'm sure in a few more days like I said people are gonna be on it anyway I'm gonna head home now I'm gonna show you the, re the reels that I picked up also I got some coffee I'm gonna review I can't tell you the name of the coffee, but we're going to review the coffee anyways. And just a word of caution here, this is a completely biased review. 100% biased. I'm not even going to hide that. Anyway, let's head home. Alright folks, we are back home at the coffee bar and this is what I got. We've got a Fluger, we've got a no-name reel, and we also got a Shakespeare. Before we get into these, I think we need coffee. I did mention I got new coffee. Cannot tell you the name of this coffee because I just can't. I've already ground it up from the whole bean. This is an espresso roast. Oh, you can smell the moisture. You can smell the oils. You can smell the coffee. Oh, this smells great. All right. We're going to get this going here, and then we're going to talk about these reels. And as usual with the cop... The intro? Alright, roll the intro. talk about coffee in the video without the intro Whew, that is good now as usual we're gonna try this black and we're gonna try this with milk and in all fairness I explained earlier about the bias I am 100% biased I've had this coffee before I've chosen this coffee 
I love this coffee. So it, uh, it's good. It's going to be great. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. Anyway, first black, then with milk. I'm not going to like it black, so I am going to add a bit of milk. While we're waiting on that, we're going to talk about these reels. Now, like I said, I got a Fluger, a Shakespeare, and one without a name on it. Now, the one without the name on it's got a really cool design pattern on the outside. Now, I'm not sure if my camera can pick it up. I'm going to try it in some B-roll, but there's a canoe in a river. Uh, there's a forest, a tree line along the edge of a river. Some really nice stuff, but there's no name on it. Stand by. I found a name. This is a Mercury 2250. I've never heard of Mercury reels. Four dollars. Four four dollars for these three reels. They'll go with the other 35 or 40 that I have downstairs. Do not tell my wife. Don't say a word. She doesn't watch my videos anyway, so she, who am I kidding? That's how she found out I bought a new shotgun. That's how she found out I bought a new bow. That's, that's how she finds out everything. When she asked me about the new shotgun, I've had that for months. She's a little, she's a little bit, a little bit smarter than that. A little bit smarter. Than that. Who am I kidding? She's a lot smarter than that. Anyway, we're gonna go into some of these reels here. We're gonna talk about, uh, actually, we're gonna talk about the Mercury one because I just found the name. We're gonna talk about the Mercury reel, and we're gonna see a little bit of history about this because I can't tell you about the coffee. I just can't yet well this is interesting let me move my stuff out of the way here I just typed in the mercury fishing reel the 2250 brings it up here on eBay valued at $25 not bad four bucks for three $25 for this one not bad at all but I want to find a little history about this it gets a little better. There's one here on uh, Pinterest for $54. And it specifically says they have the the uh, outdoor scenery engraved on the side. Mind you, it's only worth that much if you're going to sell it. I don't intend on selling it. Alright, so this particular one here, this is coming from the Orca Online organization. Uh, the Bronson Mercury. Uh, this next version is shown below. It's this one. With the engraved fishing scene was first seen in, 19, in the 1941 catalog. They would be produced in staggering numbers. In other words, that's a ton. At one time, Bronson was producing up to 9,000 reels a day. 9,000 of these a day. With its 300 employees. Only because I don't think my camera is going to do very well on the side of this reel. Here's a picture on fishtalks.com. Have a look. Right there you have it. You can see the uh, engraved fishing scene as well as the tree line. Uh, the canoe down the bottom. So obviously Bronson owns the Mercury Reels. In 1922 the Bronson Reel Company was formed by E.J. McMahon who was the sales manager for Shakespeare Company. Shakespeare. So he wasn't new to fishing gear, obviously. McMahon started out with McMahon started out small with only 15 employees in a small building in Bronson, Michigan. There we go. Bronson, Michigan, 1922. Business was good for Bronson in 19, and in 1928 they built a new 15,000 square foot building. Then in 1931 Bronson purchased a famous, I'm going to butcher this, Misobach Katusi line of reels. Feel free to correct me in the comments down below. In the middle of the Great Depression, Bronson continued building the same, those reels, until World War II. Sometime around 1934, Bronson also purchased J.A. Coke's, C-O-X-E, reel company. Coke's was famous for its line of big game reels. By the start of World War II, Bronson produced over 135 reels ranging in price from 25 cents all the way up to $750 to the top of the line. That's the saltwater reels. By early 1940, Bronson was the largest manufacturer of fishing reels in the world, producing over 1 million fishing reels in a single year and held over 62 patents. 1922. Bronson, Michigan. Now, that does not mean that this reel was made in 1922. 
However, it does have the it does have the cork center. It's got the engraving on both sides of it, which is really nice. I know I said it probably ten times in this video already, but four bucks for all three, four dollars. All right, that's enough about that. We're gonna talk about well, we're gonna not talk about the coffee, the espresso roast, which is for those of you that don't know, it's very dark. Oh, it smells I already got to tell you I'm going to put milk in it. You already know that. Whew. It's not bad black. I find myself putting less and less milk in it each time I use it. So maybe one of these days I'll be without milk, period. Let's try the milk. Oh, that's fantastic. You knew that was coming, right? I told you, this is an extremely biased review. An extremely biased review. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the, the red button and ring the bell, and then you'll get notified Yeah, each and every time. You all know that stuff already. I said it before. I think everybody pretty much says it in their videos. You know what to do. You hit the button. Never mind. That's it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Three new reels to the collection. No name coffee. Yet, there's only one thing left to do. Yeah, you guessed it. Don't forget to get out and enjoy the outdoors. And the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. Might as well roll the coffee outro as well. See you all in the next one. Later.